All right, well, moving on now, there are multiple reasons a person might begin a writing career to jot down memories or thoughts, maybe. Yeah, and uh, being able to tell our own stories and connecting with what we read can also be an important factor. So joining us now with more is author Susan Hanner. Thanks for being here today, Susan. Thank you for having me yeah. for your support. I appreciate it. Yes. So tell us about your story and how you got into writing. Okay, so the first book here, we'll go with Sabi, is the first okay. book that um, I published. This is the second edition. Mm -hmm. And um, I published it under my brand name, which is Blasian Books. And so I got into writing because I wanted to see myself represented in stories that I read. Um, as a young girl, I was an avid reader. My mother would have to tell me, stop reading, it's time to go eat, or it's time to wow. do this or that. So, um, I, but I love these stories, but I just couldn't picture myself in them. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I got started. Wow. Yeah. And Sabi is about um, King Tut's widow in Naxuna Moon. There was a time when I wanted to be an Egyptologist. And I always wondered what happened to Anak Sunamun um, after he died, mm -hmm. after King Tut died. And so I envisioned that uh, her bodyguards uh, stole her away in the middle of the night. Uh, she um, perhaps got on a Phoenician uh, ship and uh, they were lost in a storm and ended up in Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, this story explains the reason why ninja only, the only thing you see on a ninja are their eyes it's because the first ninja were African, and it comes down to, to modern day times. Mm. So okay. interesting. And how many books yeah. have you published? Um, four altogether. Four total. Yes. Okay. Four altogether. Okay. So this is really an effort to kind of your own journey a little bit. It's your own journey, kind of through this this writing. Um, yes. And so, how long have you been writing? The first book I wrote was when I was in the sixth grade, and it was called The Last Pearl. Oh, And I wrote cool. it in my diary. <laughs> so cool. you grew up in Omaha. Yes. And you lived in North Platte. Yes. And then recently moved here to Lincoln, right? Yes, I've lived in Hawaii and in Panama as well. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you have an event coming up. Tell us about that. Um, that is actually... Um, it's uh, a book signing at Dillard's at the Gateway Mall. Okay. It was a surprise to me, but uh, one of the supervisors that was helping me, um, she was asking me uh, about uh, my background, what I'm doing there today, and, and what I do do, and uh, I told her that I write books, and she was like, let's do a book signing. And this oh. is tomorrow, right? And this is tomorrow. Okay. Is there going to be some reading? Are you going to read from these yes, books too? Yes, from each book, yes. Okay, that'll be really interesting. So it's going on from 11 to 3 at Dillard's, and you'll be signing books, selling books, yes. reading, all kinds of stuff going yes. on. Yes, there will be some giveaways as well. Okay, very okay, good. Perfect season. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I appreciate it.